Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the comic collector geek, and I'm joined with my trusty sidekick, um, Stephen Lothar. Lothar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, my stackery unboxing, but not. Awesome. Uh, uh, where this is where it's like the cameo appearance. I I, I really like this idea of cameo appearances now. Uh, this is the cameo appearance of my comic unboxing. It's your Hulk 180. Yeah, he's so it's sort of like where Wolverine just sort of walks past. He doesn't actually say anything, doesn't do anything, just walks past. That's this unboxing for you guys. So, um, and some people will people will debate: is this really the first appearance of this unboxing, or is it the, the unboxing video that I'll do later? And if they do, they have entirely <laughs> too much time on their hands, exactly. or they don't have any problems in their lives. We can fix that, though, Alan. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to say hello to the chat. We got K Munin. K, K Munin, Munin, you're like awesome for being first a lot. And we have Captain Comics. Wow. What a great guy. Uh, people that are watching, check out his channel. He's a good guy. Um, he, he was the first guy that allowed me to come on his channel to be interviewed. And that's when I was a really small channel and nobody loved me. So um, he showed Things me some better now. Sense. Not much. <laughs> uh, then we got Matt. Hi, Matt. My, my Ottawa friend. And we got Lyle. Hey, Lyle. Oh, Lyle. So, uh, yeah. So, it's uh, it should be interesting. It's um, So, this unboxing isn't... Like, the current unboxing that I'm doing is a pretty massive one. It's like, uh, like four big boxes. This one is three big boxes. So, it's not quite as big. But... Um, Actually, last unboxing had some pretty major books. Uh, this one is major books. Like, I'm going to call this Grail books because, like, about, I'd say about 10 Grails. Wow. 10, at least I can think of 10. There's probably wow. more. Um, so what happened was, my plan was I'm not going to buy any more comics. I, yeah, I I've, actually, heard, I've, I've heard this before. So, so I think everyone's heard this before. Um, my psychiatrist has heard from this themselves. Before. From <laughs> themselves too. We all yeah. say that. We all say well, that. this like, one is just, oh, what an opportunity! Oh, it's a target of opportunity. Yeah. So what I'll never see it was, again. Turok won. Oh no. Well, you know, there's like so many targets of opportunities, and I'm like, this is not this. I, I can I? I no. no. You uh, can't pass. I. Yeah. It's the same thing with. I'll just say it's the same with me. And mm. I have never seen the, the market so full of really, you never see them books that you can, that you can, you can afford to get them, that they're priced yeah. in a way that you can get them. And yeah. then, or I mean, or if, if there is a certain level of pain, if the pain level is, 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 you know, 15 to 20%, yeah, not yeah. 60 to 70%. It's just, oh. but I have gone crazy. I mean, there's targets of opportunity when it's this kind of situation where you see a book not only is it a rare book that you don't normally see, mm. but it's at a rare price <laughs> that you don't yeah. normally see. It's at a price like, like be below the FMV, below actually last sale even. You know, and then like you the, wonder what's 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 wrong with this thing? It, like a, a few of them, I'm like, are they actually going to send me the book? Is this like <laughs> some like scam? You know, yeah. um, the Nigerian prince seems good though. I, I really do believe that so you gave him a, your bank I, account. You gave him your, your, your uh, savings account numbers. Said, and, and your, yeah. All I had to do was give him my social security number and my bank account information. Trust, my credit cards. trust is everything, right? Yeah. It's from the guy that's taking the money from Nigeria's treasury. Trust yes. is everything. Yet he's going to say to a stranger, you can have $35 million in your account. I, it's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So um, yeah, so um, I'm hoping the books are in these boxes. <laughs> this would be good, or ni no Nigerians in there. It's all it's filled with, with the way Trudeau is. One, but... With the way Trudeau is, you may not even know. Let and, me out! Let me out! Yeah. Um, uh, quite a few grails for one unboxing. Just when you say no more comics, is when great book comes up. Yeah, exactly. Precisely. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Precisely. I just bought two rare Golden Age in a few days ago. I will share them on my Instagram soon. I'll definitely have to see it. Lyle gets some pretty great stuff, actually. He's got a pretty thing, good thing going cool. on. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide you, Stephen. Sorry. Good. <laughs> you get hidden. 
I actually like the pictures in your background, by the way. I went away from Shane McCormick and back to my first uh, love, Lindsner. Is, is Joe Linsner. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph Michael Linsner. Yeah. So that's what I was. That's what I was saying, Derek. Uh, that I was going to get some uh, Tech Twenty Sevens. He promised the Nigerian Prince promised me Action One, Tech Twenty Seven, Tech Thirty One, and a Batman One, and I thought for ten thousand dollars or that he was going to pay me to take these off his hands. I thought, you know, <laughs> can't. Go I don't wrong. know. I don't know if that's a good enough deal. I really yeah. don't know if that's a good enough deal. <laughs> you know. But all I had to do is send him all my, my information. But, you know, I trust him. If he has an action one, he must be trustworthy, right? Trust is everything. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to open. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make myself big here. I'm going to show you guys what's on my floor, which is the three big boxes. One of them was, like, like I don't know what's in this box, but it was heavy. <laughs> it was really heavy. I was like, so, um. Hi, Hi Bleak. uh, Bleaker. So, uh, you know, it was heavy. I was like carrying it up. I'm, I'm like huffing and puffing, <laughs> carrying this stupid box up the stairs. Okay, so I'm going to show you the three boxes. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, it's this one right here. This one was heavy. Heavy. Like, I'm thinking a good 50, 60 pounds. It was like really heavy. I was like... We'll poke I'm some like, holes in the box to let some air in. Yeah, I, you know... I said, you know, send me like a few things, uh, you know, like it kept on kicking, but after I poked it a few times and it stopped kicking. It stopped. So, oh, that's um, good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's really heavy. I don't know what's in there. Um, so you know, might be a surprise. So we're gonna I'm gonna open one box and then we're gonna go back to Steven, and then we're gonna open another box, back to Steven, and keep on going back and forth, and we'll we'll see what's inside these things. Now I know there is one special thing. I'm not sure if Steven wants me to show it yet. I do. Or wait until Monday. Oh, you want me to show it? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> that'll give it'll give them something and we can talk. Yeah, so there is a special surprise that Steven sent me in one of these boxes. I have no idea which one, but we'll find out. I'm going to open up the little box first. So just give me a sec here. Okay. One sec here. Are you there? Your volume is gone. No sound. No sound. Are you there? Your volume is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having technical problems. Well, uh, it's always nice to be uh, when Alan is incommunicado. Now I can tell tell you all of you all the things that I've wanted to tell you about Alan, and all he can do is smile. There was the time, there was the time down in uh, Saint Catherine, and he was going to go over the falls within the barrel, and it was a it was a only uh, it was only a, a, a red chip barrel. He wasn't sure about it, but he was assured by the Nigerian prince that everything was going to be okay and his prizes were there waiting. Are you Can there? You hear me now? now you're back. Oof. My wife, I told her that I'm doing a live stream. I told her, hey, you know, I'm doing a live stream. You know, don't ever call when I'm doing a live stream. I, <laughs> it's like, and then the first thing she does, she calls me. Uh, she's calling again. Okay, I'm going to let you go big. You can talk. I'll be right back. I got to talk to my wife. Okay. All right. right okay. So, since I do have this this yeah. moment, my good friend Hudat um, uh, had an auction, and along with Mr. Bleeker uh, and various and assorted. And by gosh, his the stuff arrived, 
And uh, I just show, I'll show you, these are the books. These are the extras that he gave me. This would have worked with the Comic Collectors Club with the muscles, uh, the, the muscles, the, the contest they had, hyper, hyper lo looning, hyper looting. And here is a Spider Woman number one, Spider Verse. Very nice. That was a throw in. This is one of the ones I got. I didn't. I don't have this. The deceased, which is very cool, like the Infinite Crisis or whatever it is, where he's holding uh, Supergirl. And this is the certificate of uh, op certificate of opportunity, certificate of authenticity. Uh, uh, guarantees the enclosed edition has been officially designated as studio authenticated and is hand signed by Arthur Suidam. It's certified. Very cool cover. Oops. Very cool cover, which I do not have, but now I do. Lots going on, all the people. Then he's, this is another one of the ones. This is another uh, variant. Is this the Green Hulk? Is this the She-Hulk? I think it's She-Hulk with a sword like, uh, like somebody else, like Sonya. Leather boots and all that other good stuff, which is of course like you do. Okay. And then, and then the two bigger ones were: I got this uh, first uh, uh, Gamora, I think, yeah, Gamora. And he was telling me this was just a fine. And I'm here to tell you, if that's his fine, I mean, gosh, that's a nine. Oh, I can see; it just needs a press. Yeah, but gosh, I have one copy. They'll just put this one right with it. All the bags and boards are brand new. And then this one, which I, I, I love Power Girl. And uh, I do have a, a slab of this, but I uh, a while ago uh, when I got my <clears throat> uh, Batman 1, I sold a bunch of my uh, books from the 90s up and some other stuff that I just said, I, 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 I like it, but I, I have to do something to <laughs> throw some throw some more logs on the fire, you know, as far as that goes, you know how that is guys and gals. And right, so I'm back by the way. Okay. okay. Alan. And that I'm was showing it. some this, good stuff while I'm gone here. So that's good. This was, this was my, this was my find, or this was my auction win. And uh, oh, wow. if you haven't, if you haven't had a chance to go on that with who dad and bleaker uh, bleak has some beautiful stuff too. Oh, so um, you got that. That was from the, the bleaker auction. That was the bleaker auction, and I got it from Mr. Hudat. Um, oh, and uh, he's got great stuff, actually. Hudat. He does, and uh, so does Bleak. And I think that his uh, uh, a lot of the stuff that he is his uh, mystery boxes and his hundred dollars get you kind of a thing, as so to speak, is just chock full of really really good stuff. So anyway, but I thought that would uh, uh, just uh, just to show a little something. Wow. Okay, so I sorted out my wife. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's probably going to call again, but hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully what was not. that you were saying again? What was that again? What, what was it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Say? Exactly. So, okay. So I'm, I'm going to go back to showing what is inside the box. Fair <laughs> so enough. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Um, if not, I'll go back to you again. Thank into you. Into limbo. Me. Into limbo. Again, he go into limbo. Yeah. Thanks for covering for me. It was good. Okay. So. Here, I don't know why this has peanuts on it, but not peanuts on it. It's got peanuts, but there's no peanuts in the box. It's just got peanuts on this bag. Um, I don't know what this is. I have a few, it feels like two slabs. I think I know what these slabs are, actually. They, I think they're both big books. So that's two of the two of the grails right there. And then we got a pulp. <laughs> not bagged, not boarded. And it's, an, oh, it's a big one, too. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, for heaven's sake. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Seriously. Like, I, I don't know. What are they thinking? Like, no bag. It's just... They're not. Look, look. It's just like, you know, it's like it's wrapped. Sure. Well, don't worry. Pulps, pulps are very durable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're resilient. Like, don't sneeze on them, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then we got some Oof. more slabs. Lots of slabs. I think this is all slabs, this box. Some more slabs. So I'm creating my Tower of Babel. Oh. More slabs. Okay, that should be interesting. 
Okay, so this box does not have the Stephen Gettner prize in it. More slabs. It looks like three slabs. Oh, this one's cool. Okay. Let's see, now, let's see Alan, inside it. My mother, my mother, when we had Christmas Eve, which is where we did our big thing, she mm -hmm. always let us in the afternoon. She would give us one present More slabs. so that we would have something to look at and uh, be excited about. And I think for all of these books you've got here, we have to have, besides your special present, there has to be at least one thing that you will show. That's only sure. sure, sure. I will do that. Do you want, which bubble wrap would you like to see? Uh, I would like to see what's inside the <laughs> bubble wrap, Moriarty. Oh, I, I, was, I was confused. You said show something. I was like showing things. You always get sort of confused about this time. Yeah. Okay, so um, that was the first box. I'm actually going to open up one more box. I'm going to open up this big box here. One second. Okay. I mean, you showed some great stuff, so hey, they won't be disappointed. Okay, so. Um, well, I am. Okay, I'll show you something. Do you want to see something? No, not yet. Okay, I won't show it then. I was going to show something, but. Steven said, don't show it. So uh, now it's a, let it, it be on your head, right? Yeah. It's everything else is on my head. That might as well be part of it. Okay. So uh, this looks like a my comic shop order. It's like a whole bunch of stuff inside. Yes. Thank you. What is this? Very strange. Okay. I think I know what that is actually. Thinking about it. Oh, oh my goodness. You might have to ding a bunch of time. Look. Two more, two more dings. Look, what's going on here? So many books. I don't remember ordering that many books. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, what do we got? Alan, I think that I could take the last three times you've done these boxes and just play the same tape because you always say, I don't remember ordering all this stuff. Where'd all this stuff come from? Who ordered these? I remember you. paying for all these books, but I don't remember <laughs> ordering them. Yeah. Oh, this one's not even bagged or boarded or anything. Great. Okay, well that's did it survive? This this slab was like thrown in here. For heaven's sake. It... Actually, <laughs> it survived. That's okay. incredible. That's that's amazing. Okay, so that's a well, why it don't you take big... it out? Why don't you take it out and be sure? Why don't you take it out of the the wrap and make sure it's okay? It's no, no, it's not wrapped. It's, oh, it isn't. It's raw. Like, well, I mean, it's slabbed, but it's it's a raw slab. Um, it's not wrapped in anything. Slabbed, but it's a raw slab. Okay. Yeah, I don't, raw, I know you, know how, you know those raw slabs that you get. Um, <laughs> and then we got some more slabs. Lots of slabs in this unboxing. I didn't realize it was mostly slabs. It seems. And Lots this is slabs. the small box. This is the the big box. This oh, this is the big box. The okay. small box was all slabs. Okay. And this is, oh, I know you like these ones. Comic Tom. Well, I actually I always hope, put you, I hope that you actually win a prize. You got dupes last time. I know that was interesting. And uh, Matt, I'm going to give one of them to Matt. Actually, he wanted the uh, Mr. Freeze, so I'm going to give that as a prize to him. To be honest, First. that's a really cool cover. I mean, actually, because Mr. Yeah, Freeze it is actually is a cool. pretty cool cover. So or he's going to get. I'm going to give him that. Zero to begin with, right? Yeah, it was Mr. Zero, and then it became Mr. Freeze. <laughs> By the way, Alan, I did put that extended question on your Wednesday thing. I saw. I saw that for about Gold Key. Yeah. And then we got a whole bunch of books. Wow. That are not properly bagged or bordered or anything. Okay. <laughs> Just a whole bunch here. Ah. Right. So People... when when they come into Stackery, they they take them out of the boxes that they're in and then put the guts of it in with you and they take all the rest of the boxes and stuff and cycle it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they do a good job of putting it back together again, like so that it's you know, where it's like in stacks and then wrapped and boarded and properly. But this time I would give them a B on this one because there's some that are not really poorly and very poorly put together here. 
Okay, so uh, I think this is another Comic Tom. There's it two is. Comic Toms in here. I could do a Comic Tom before I see a Comic Tom. Well, that would be at least something. <laughs> I have nothing against Comic Tom. I don't. I think that he's... Uh, I, yes, I, I'm I, giving uh, Matt my Batman 121, the, the reprint of that. Hello, Biggie. Yeah. Hi, good Biggie. Collectors Club. Yeah, that was a good one. The champion like when I win. before us. And then we got a whole bunch of... That place. A whole bunch of those. And one more. And what else is in here? There's some more stuff in here. And one more slab. So it's a lot of slabs. You know, very, like, like... More, I would say like 80% slabs and then 20% raw. That's a good, then, kid. that's, that's good. Slabs are good. I like slabs. I know some people are not really into the slabs. I'm just going to open up all the boxes. I was going to go back and forth, but hey, why not just open them all? I think it's a good plan. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm, <laughs> I'm worried my wife calling, right? Um... Okay, so um, I, audio is crap, but it was fun. Actually, yeah, your audio is a little bit off. Maybe it's, um, it's up here. Okay, I think this is something wrong. What is this? I'm curious what this is. I have no idea. <laughs> it's something or other. Well, there's an easy yeah. way to find out. No, I don't know how to find out. I'm not. I'm really confused. You keep on saying oh, these things. Such a mar plot. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Okay, and then a whole that's, bunch that's of not, things. That's kind of funny. Yeah, and a whole bunch of things that I'm not sure what they are. Okay. At least they're at least they're boxed correctly. Yeah, actually, another raw one. Do you want to see a raw one that I can actually show? All right. Now this one is actually a key that I figured out. This. Oh, and it's good too. Oh my goodness, their photo made it look like it was damaged. So nobody was like, so I got it really cheaply because it looked like it was damaged in the photo. Yes. I don't, why would you take a photo and make it look like your book is damaged? And it's not damaged. It's actually beautiful. It's like mint. <laughs> it, looked like, it looked damaged. It was so dumb. Why do they do that? Okay. Now this is a key book for an artist that we both like. It's... Danger Girl, 20 years. Can you figure out who the artist is? Nathan Zerdy. Nathan Zerdy. And this is his very first comic art cover. I did not know that. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. So I picked it up. Because what I'd like year to get that? Uh, like 2000 and something. 2005, I think. Somewhere around there. Whatever 20 years of Danger Girls would be. Whenever they celebrated their 20 years. I think it's either 2005 or 2009. Somewhere around there. I think 2009, actually. So, isn't that cool? Really? Very cool. So, in the picture, it looked like there was marker all over. <laughs> I don't know why. So, I was like, oh, this is going to be cheap. Like, I didn't notice it. The weird thing is I'm, I'm really dumb sometimes. I saw the price as being, like, way lower than everyone else's price for the same book. And then... Um, then afterwards, I looked at the pictures, and it looked like there was something wrong with uh, there was like marker or something on the on the girls, and uh, I was like, oh shoot, but I already bought it, you know. But um, turns out there was nothing wrong with it. I don't get why. Alan, I've had that happen. Uh, I had that happen with that uh, with the Mickey Mouse book with really with great. dope on the back of the plane. That cover, it looked mm -hmm. the, the picture looked terrible. I said, yeah. can you send him a better picture? He says, well, I, I take pictures with my laptop. I said, you don't, oh. have, a cell <laughs> I said, you don't have a cell phone. My cell phone died. So if, if that was it. When I got it, it, it was just, it was perfect. And I, but I was expecting the worst. And yeah. the same thing happened with my space ghost, the, 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 uh, the nice slab. I said, I said, it just, it looked, you know, I couldn't see any of the detail of it. And I said, is it all right? He says, he says don't worry. It's really, really pretty. And so. Does this look know, familiar? I can't tell. I can't tell. Does this look like a? No, that is not me. This is not you. I don't think so. Is it ticking? 
then it's definitely <laughs> not me. Um, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Like, I don't remember buying anything that's like this shape. Oh, okay. I know what it is now. Very interesting. Very weirdly wrapped, though. Okay, it's not what I expected, but it's interesting. Very cool. That's actually a cool one. Okay, which you're not going to get to see. Ah, uh, and this one. This one is something you will recognize. This is, I found your thing. Okay, good. And it arrived safely, I think, for the most part. Okay. And what's, and this, is this you? Nope. Oh. I didn't put I didn't put freebie on it. Somebody put freebie. I got a freebie, whatever that is. So freebie, something freebie as well. Okay, but this one, does this look like something you recognize? That I believe is it. I will show that in a minute. So I'm gonna keep on showing stuff that's in this last box. This last box is really heavy. I think I know why. It's because of these ticking things. I thought they were like, it looked like a Funko Pop. It looks like a Funko Pop. They are not Funko Pops. They are something really, really cool that I got really, really cheaply. That shouldn't be cheaply. <laughs> Odds? No. Uh, they're um, Bill Ward. For later. Oh, okay. Oh, from your big, uh, yeah. your, your huge haul of Bill Ward stuff. Yeah, so those must be the digest ones. Excellent. So yeah, and those are the magazines, right? These are like ma award yeah, magazines, probably. Something I don't know. Who knows what these are? Okay, they're because it's all mixed together, right? It's not like yeah. they're together as a and a whole bunch of slabs. Oh my goodness! You'll see what I mean by it. when I say a whole bunch of slabs. Watch this. Good lord. So I know what this is, and you can actually, well, you could have read it, actually. I'm, okay, i got to show you the bottom end. Um, <laughs> you could have read it. This is um, an EC collection I bought. These are all EC uh, pre-code horror comics. So a whole bunch. So a whole bunch of pre-code horror. And... I uh, I was uh, cahooting with uh, Brandon at Mon Comics when he was going to get a um, <laughs> he got the the EC that has the the ghoulish uh, astronaut thing with the gal looking through the porthole of the spaceship. Oh uh, really? Yeah, and he he, he was because uh, he was thinking it because he and a, a bunch of the Merry Men are heading down to Terrificon, and Is that uh, it's right there. I think it's more right of brown. I think it's more of a brown cover. That one. Weird. No, it's the one. Uh, it's not the one with the coming in that way. It's sort of like on off to the side. Uh, oh, okay. It's like an EC comic you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, I know. I think I know the one. Two seconds here. Okay. And this is Heritage Auctions. Nice. They it's rolled them up for you. Oh, okay. They they really like you know. They packaged it well. And last one. Oh, stack. Yeah, this is more Heritage Auctions. It's actually one more than I thought from Heritage Auctions. It's Weird Science. Yeah, 19. Weird Science. Okay, I think I know weird that one. Weird Science 19 is the one that he was after. Oh, that's and very cool he really, I said, what was it about that book in particular? And he said, the the look of the of the the space thing you know the person floating in space is just it's just you know yeah i have that um at one time i thought that was a soti book but it's not hmm. it's i i i, I it's, well a lot uh, of them could be i mean if you really want to come down to it a lot of them sure. easily, very easily could have been and here's one last book and then that's it so that's everything from these three boxes it's not going to be as many uh, videos. I think it might be only like, in terms of videos, how many videos I'm going to make out of this. Probably it's going to be like, I'd say 10, 10 videos. Is it, oh, uh, Biggie's asking, is it Wood? Is it Wally Wood? The EC book? Uh, I don't know if it was Williamson or Wood. Let me look. I think it's Wood. I think he's right. 
Williamson and Frazetta, it says, Seduction of the Innocent. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you the thing that you sent me. So this is something from um, uh, that Stephen got made for me. It's kind of, I'm actually going to take it out of the plastic. Okay. And it is a little action figure. Lady Luck action figure. Can so I tell is, the story? Yeah. You, okay, wait. I'm going to make you big now. Yeah. And then you can... Alan and I both go after the good girl stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going after uh, Cayman and all this other stuff was going on, which, of course, Alan does, too. But he would he, he would go after the more obscure, like Miss mm -hmm. Mask, Lady Luck, Blonde Phantom. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. like they're cheap or anything. Sun Girl. It's not like they're cheap, but they are certainly... Uh, not on the, not much on the beaten path. Miss Fury is much more, uh, much more around than, than mm -hmm. these. But, but the one about Lady Luck, um, that really, it, he really enticed me with that. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know, I, I don't know anything about it. And he's, and then Alan was telling me how difficult they are to get, and he is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Lady Luck books, the census is like 10 or 12, or I mean, it's just, it's almost Usually under 20 for most of them. It's yeah. almost non existent. And, um, and then uh, and that's just, uh, you know, what's there. The fact that people have them and are holding on to them. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that, or the, the fellow that, that draws these things, his name is, he was a guy from Finland, and his name was Klaus Nordling. Mm -hmm. And I guess he was, he always, when he would go to work, he was very, very fastidious guy, best, you know, all that stuff. He took the work very seriously. But if you have a chance, it's quality comics is what it is. And mm -hmm. because I knew this was coming, so then what happened is what always happens with Alan and I, then it turned into an escalating FOMO attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, and then it's back and forth and back and forth we go. And the fact is that, Lady Luck only has five issues. Smash Comics is where she started, and I have that up in, in there somewhere. She's in a bunch of the Smash issues. But... She's in the Smashes. But mm -hmm. then when Smash went kaput, they picked up the numbering with Lady Luck, and it ran another five issues that dedicated under the title of Lady Luck. And mm -hmm. it was a real challenge to try and find these five books. Of those. I have all, I have pulled all five of mine out so I can show everybody what it looks like. If you want to make sure. me big. Yeah, I'll make you big. Um, just quickly, this unboxing we're seeing right now, I actually complete my Lady Luck collection. Oh, good for you. So, so I will be, you know, there's, no more, battle. there's sure. no more battle. Yeah, we're, <laughs> I won't show any. But, the war um, is over for now, for now. For now. For now, so I'll make you big. You can show your lady Lux. Um, the first issue uh, that that he that uh, he had was is Lady Luck number eighty six. Uh, the between uh, uh, Bill Ward and Gil Fox, Gil Fox was another good girl artist for quality, just like Bill Ward was, and Bill did a lot of, of really cool covers. And I have a bunch of those too, but here is the first one, and this is. I think like the second highest graded copy, there are a couple of them. Um, and when, because there are so few of them that when I started to buy, then all of a sudden more of them started to come up with much higher prices for lower grades and, and not as nice, which I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how these people watch this stuff so closely. I didn't think how many people are chasing after lady luck. Well, evidently there were, Every but, time I ever like the reason I couldn't get all the issues were there was a couple issues that every time they came up on Heritage, people would just bid them up. I was like, who, why? Who's bidding on these? This is the thing. But I think, but the the fact is, the interior. Uh, if you go on Comic Book Plus, chat. If mm -hmm. you go on Comic Book Plus and put in Lady Luck, you can read the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks, Andreas. Uh, that this this cover. Uh, legs akimbo, which is one of my favorite expressions, but she's legs akimbo, and it has kind of a Charles Biro look with the road going stretching back that way, like that one cover with the gal shooting everyone. Mm -hmm. 
It's very interesting. Thank you, Captain Science. Um, and so the one guy, there's there's uh, count the money or something. He's this she's she's this beautiful rich debutante, and all these guys want to shack out shack up with her and get yeah. her money and get her. And she's too sharp. She she doesn't go for any of that stuff. And one of the charming things that Klaus Nordling always would do was she would identify the problem. She'd go there as uh, uh, Myron Gilda uh, Morgenstern, whatever her name is. Um, and then she'd look around and there she could see there was a problem. And then when she would change into her Lady Luck costume, he always would dedicate... <laughs> Ha! <laughs> she is. Uh, she would. The, uh, Nordling would dedicate a, a a page or at least a half a page for her oh, to for, dis, for her to disrobe into lingerie, and then shift into her Lady Luck costume, which she yeah. always had with her, and her bolero hat, which no one would ever recognize her bolero hat and, and the veil, would they? I think they would. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else is absolutely true. But anyway, but this is the first. And a very nice copy of it. The second one, this is issue number 87. And when I had the fella create these Lady Luck figures, uh, he said, Steve, you can choose whatever background you want. Alan, would you come in for just a yeah, minute? Yeah, yeah, and, show and then you back, can show, yeah. Show the card that it's on. He says, what do you want to be on the card? And I said, I would like to have uh, this cover as the background because I wanted to have her to be full figure yeah, not, on, not on one side and then be on the other side as well. So in other words, she is not she's not obscured in any way. And so I said, this is the one I want. He said, no problem. And so that's why the card that 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 toy is on looks like that. That was that was me at work. Mm. Yeah, it's really great. Um, I don't get this comment. One sec here. I'm not a huge Lady Luck fan, but I always liked the, this commercial. I've seen it come up for auction two or three times in the past few months, but I would always go after something else instead. Cool cover. Okay, cool. Oh, like co oh, cool cover. Cover, cover not, not commercial. commercial. Okay, I was wondering. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes this was sense. a commercial. Like, this this is like, a is there a commercial? I was Ladies like, oh, and okay. gentlemen. When your wife is using Oxidol, she should read Lady Luck comics. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, it's really weird. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. Sometimes so, I find it does these, uh, you know, um, you get the autocorrect or some weird the autocorrect, and then you and strange things come out. So, yeah. what did you say? I said, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't say that. But she almost gets her uh, breast impaled on this one, but she doesn't seem to be too concerned. Yeah, it goes right across her chest. Right across her uh, décolletage. Mm. That there's a word for this French for, for, for breasts. <laughs> right, so space between them, but I won't. it doesn't matter much. It's all good. So yeah. there's the second so it's, appearance. It's funny, her boyfriend guy, the guy that's sleeping in the bed on that one, yeah. he's always like the goof. Like, why is he? It's, it's almost like Archie. She hangs she hangs out with this guy. He's no help at all in any possible way. He doesn't have any money. He has a title and he's trying to get her, her money from her. She knows all this. He knows it. Yet they hang around together. It actually is quite it's very cleverly. Nordling yeah. does a really good job of it. it's very clever and it's fun. And mm -hmm. it's not so tongue in cheek like the spirit, you know, and I really don't. I know people like the spirit. It's too tongue in cheek to me. Same thing with Plastic Man. Tee hee. Mm -hmm. Break the fourth wall. Isn't it funny? Uh, no, it isn't. Take Woozy Winks with you. So this was the last one that it took. This was the hardest one for me to get was this one, number 88. This, this, yeah, that's a hard one. This, that was this the last was, one I got, too. Yeah, it's the hardest one to get for some reason. Yeah. The other ones may be hard, too, but for some reason, luck was with me because no one else, I think no one else was chasing him, probably except Alan. And mm -hmm. then I went in and I was able to nail down three of them right away. I found another one shortly thereafter, but then this one took me a long time to find. Actually, the last two that I was missing, um, Heritage had an auction of all the Lady Lux. Somebody oh, sold really? their entire, yeah, sold their entire collection of Lady Luck. And I was like, oh, I'll just pick up these two issues that I need and I'm good. They all went crazy though. Like crazy but, how high? 
Um, like about, you know, a little bit, like maybe 10, 20% over FMV kind of level. You know what I mean? It was, but since they, they weren't, but the ones that I picked up were actually, I think were a little bit later because they were sort of in the middle of the run. Mm -hmm. So I think people that were buying the other ones had kind of gone crazy. And so the ones first were- last, the, the first and last yeah. are always the ones that are tough. Well, I have, so, but I have no, just... but I, I was kind of lucky because because mine were in the middle. They kind of um, were a little bit uh, not beat on as much. Overlooked. Yeah. So I got them around F M B. So yeah. I have. There's like I say. There's only five. I have two more to show. And this really, uh, I thank Alan for for opening my eyes to this because uh, uh, I <clears throat> I had no I had no expectation uh, because a lot of time with Good Girl covers the interior stories and the art is just not all that good. In this instance, that is not true. The stories are really good. And the artwork is very sexy. Uh, and it's fun. And she actually is tough. She's not afraid of anything. Uh, very plucky. Uh, here is issue number 89. This is from uh, June of 1950. And this one uh, has the Gil Fox cover again. But mm. Klaus Nordling does the story inside and the art. The dream girl, <clears throat> the dream girl who becomes very every criminal's nightmare. She has sort of different handles. This one says crimedom's most beautiful enemy. And this one says parries the thrusts of the rogues who are no match for her form. Mm -hmm. And then the last one says the masked Deb, as in debutante. Yeah, they're always, they, I don't know why, who makes, it's always makes the four-leaf clover mean poison ivy to crime wow wow <laughs> for a dime so then there's this baby which is cool and then the last one i got <clears throat> i got there are two canadian editions of this book extant on the cgc census and it was i came in and See you later. Um, this uh, and there were there were only two, and this one was I think one was an eight and one was a seven. I got the seven, and it is a different has different verbiage on the cover. the The cover image is the same, but inside the box in the middle it says the angel faced agent, and I think that the the American version has different verbiage on the inside. And Alan said that he liked this the most because there were two gals on the cover rather than just one. Yeah, I this, actually really like that one. But this version of this book is the really unobtainium. Yeah, that's the Canadian one too. Yeah, that's it, CDL, huh? And this was produced by Bell Features. Um, and this is the last issue and it's from, they don't say when, it says 1950. And on the back you have, uh, uh, Mildred uh, Shapiro, who is utilizing miracle skin cream to avoid further embarrassment. Well, yeah, you gotta. And if and and the simple instructions and directions, and it says this, it says take this here cream and rub it into your face for seven days, taking time out for meals, of course. You too will notice the difference. <laughs> That's George Carlin. Yeah, I know. But anyway, that is the set of Lady Luck. That was the impetus. And awesomeness. Uh, they uh and when I saw there this fella, Miguel Sanchez, I think is his name. I can't think of the name of his handle. But I contacted him. I said, Is this something that you could do? He said, Of course, no problem at all. And he does all manner, like for this the the Dallas summit that had the convention that had all these big shot. Uh, collectors and, and high-end stuff going there. Well, he produced uh, like a half a dozen characters, the Black Terror, um, uh, a really oddball, really cool characters that, you know, that are just made from scratch like this. And uh, I got myself a Black Terror as well, uh, because of course the Black Terror is a very special favorite of mine. But, um, but, uh, but the Lady <laughs> Luck, I said, <laughs> wow. Lyle, you are so, you're a hopeless romantic, Lyle. Uh, One American girl equals two Canadian. <laughs> because the the Canadian uh, exchange rate. 
Well, and if if the if the if the Canadian dollar goes much lower, the answer is that is exactly what it will be. So but anyway, that's but I wanted to show to give some context to that okay. to, the, to the thing. And because Alan was the one who turned me on to this, I had to get I uh, and both char both characters. There is no variation whatsoever. They're absolutely identical. So I just closed my eyes and picked one because they're both exactly the same. But uh, that's something uh, it was sort of an inside joke, but I wanted to share the inside joke with you. But that's that. Cool. OK, I'm sorting out my things into piles so that I know you have piles. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So um, one sec here. I'm going to change the layout. So I'm back again. Uh, I got this Sun, Sun Girl figure at the Dallas Collector's Summit. Awesome. Fair enough. Okay. That's what it was actually um, a company that's producing uh, kind of retro action figures with like uh, Miss Mask and um, a whole bunch of other ones. Well, I don't know if that's the same guy that I used. No, no, no. It's a different one. It's like they, they're mass producing them. Oh, OK. Yeah. So um, this, guy is a, this guy is a handcrafted guy. His stuff is handcrafted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really cool, actually. It's really, really well done. Like, really, really well done. Do you know the trouble with a lot of these ones that they, the guys make up is the rubber bands that are inside the bodies basically give out. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, there were some um, uh, Kenner superheroes that were, that came up from Mexico on one's that were uh, unusual, the Golden Pharaoh and some of these others, because I collect the Kenner superhero ones. And mm -hmm. uh, the when I got it, the guy says, "Well, this, the the rubber bands, you know, the, it was a little bit, it's a little bit weak, so be careful." Well, just from the, <laughs> just from the trip up from wherever this came from, mm -hmm. uh, the the bot the jostling of the box. Here, I, I'm opening it up, and and a couple of them are, they're okay. And then the one that was the rare one that he told me to be careful with, mm -hmm. the rubber band during transit had broken. And okay. all it was was limbs oh, in yeah, the bottom of the blister. They're just, wow. it was just, it was just, and the face, uh, the face was. Oh, oh man. God. I started laughing and I said, oh God. I took a picture. I said, hey, uh, I'm going to send this back to you. It was 150 bucks. It's, uh, uh, I, I don't buy pieces. I usually buy figures. He says, what did you do? And I said, I opened the box. It came in the mail that you sent to me. And this is how it was. Okay. Send it back. And so that's what I did. And I got my, got my money back, but oh, I've wow. never had, a, I've never had a toy. I've never had a toy when I order it and it comes and it's just a pile of body parts in the bottom of the wow. blister. It was but so it was nice funny. to take back the, you know, accept the money back or give you well, the money back. I should say. Well, no, he wanted it back because I think what he will do is he will probably slit the thing and then have it repaired and then seal it? it up again or something. Oh wow! Yeah, but that was uh, that was that's that's oh that's only happened to me once. But oh my god, you know, uh, it was so funny that you know if if I was like a you know all sweaty about it, oh it's the best one oh I'm so mad I'm so mad I didn't mm -hmm. I just laughed my ass off because I thought it was so funny I said boy now that's I took pictures too I don't know where I have yeah them. yeah. But I said, I, you know, I says, how do you like this action figure? He says, oh, God, it's an it's <laughs> it's amputee. What happened? He got hit by a, you know, by a truck, you know. Yeah, it's EC action figure. Um, it, it comes with a severed head. Um, very nice. So, yeah, it's very cool. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to wrap it up. Aren't soon. you going to show us Comic Tom? Do you want to see a Comic Tom? Show us, I'll, show I'll let us. the audience vote. Do you guys really want well, to see Well, we want to see Tom? something better than Comic Tom. Nothing against Tom. But oh, you yeah. ain't going to do that because this is a tease. Okay, so it's a tease. So um, I'll do one Comic Tom, whatever this one is. What okay? a guy. What a guy. I hope so, to hell that you win the prize this time. How many, how many years have you been doing this now? Three? No, not that many. I think like two. So I thought it was like, you know, there... I started because he did uh, an exclusive variant with um, Miss No, with um, Phantom Lady. He had a Phantom Lady, like a uh, Phantom Lady Seventeen homage cover. So I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." And then I, you know, 
By I who? Just, do you do by who? Do you remember? No, I don't remember who did the homage, but um, okay, so it comes in this black bag. Black bag. And let's see if I got okay, so one of three thousand copies. So that's always a bad sign. Um so we get the here, I'll make myself big, sorry. It's kind of cute. And this is done by cover by Chrissy Zulu. Z uh, Zulu. Or Z Zulo. Zolo. 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 Thank you, Alan. Brain working. <laughs> Zolo. Okay. Look, I bet it's cute, right? Yes. Okay. Your your quietness doesn't make me feel no, very I'm just, confident. No, I'm just I'm just observing and watching. Okay, 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 okay. And then we got another. This one is also limited to three thousand, which means that it's the non-rare one. The Venom. I'm not a big Venom fan in terms of like you know, some of his covers are cool, but not. I don't really go for these that much. I like Pretty Girls. So um, you know. It's got a lot of Monster, monsters that have pretty girls around is fine. It's just monsters That's, is sort of yeah. Well, you know, what's the monster's motivation? Okay, then these are the ones where okay, so then they also they always throw in a, some print. So we got uh is this uh what's his name? Um it's got wait, an omega wait, headband. Omega omega uh no omega red omega red, thank you. Once you said, yeah, it's so Omega Red, yeah. I was, I, I was doing the hand thing because his first appearance, he's like, you just see his hand on the cover. Um, so yeah. So that's Omega Red, and then I got two books. It always, they always throw in two freebies, you know, or you know, that could be something. I don't think they are. We got Daredevil. Three twenty three. Kind of a, another Venom cover. And then it's guest starring Venom. Daredevil Fall from Grace, Chapter 4. And then Spawn 21. Which I already had, actually, strangely enough. What does this cost each? each? Is it once a month? It's like 20 bucks. Is it $20? Really? I thought it was more. 20, maybe 29 Maybe maybe it's actually more more expensive. So there's that one. Okay, how about do you want me to do one more comic, Tom? Sure, I have to. Might as well. Might as well. Okay, so this is another comic, Tom. <laughs> These are like the lamest things. I like I, I have literal major books, um, and then I have yeah, but you won't show Tom. them. So we you you're, you're yeah, yeah, rele yeah. relegating us to the. Uh... This is what we get. This you get what you get. Okay, <laughs> Comic Tom. Okay, hopefully I'd like to get a good Comic Tom unboxing once. Okay, okay. So we got another. Oh, this is a slightly rarer. You know, okay. The way Comic Tom exclusives work, there's like the three thousand variant. Then there's the the twenty five hundred, and I think there's like you know the couple other tiers. Okay. This is the 2500, one of 2500, Moon Knight. That's actually kind of a cool cover. Yeah, no, I mean, I actually like the Gwen one as well. Um, this is by E.M. Geis. Now, is the, the, I see the Moon Knight in white up above. Is the, is the black guy also, what is his, is that another Moon Knight? Or that's, a, that's an adversary, isn't it? I don't know. It looks, like the, it is, looks no. like the Moon Knight. It looks like because of the cow looks very moonlight night like. Matt, I don't know. do you know who that is? Does anyone know who that is? Is this the Vengeance of Moon Knight? I like the I like the chain uh, the chained uh, uh, axes. That's cool. You can swing yeah, no, it looks everything. cool. Yeah, it looks cool. And then we got some Peach Momoko, Avengers Twilight. And this is uh, limited to 3,000 copies, so you can tell it's not as rare. There's Spidey, and he's in the weeds. Yeah, I think I actually have this, um, like, the regular newsstand version where it's the same image. Because I've seen that image before. Okay, then we get, you know, they always throw in a, uh, a print, and this one's Carnage. 
there seems to be a theme. It's always monsters like Venom or Carnage or monsters of yeah. some sort. I'm not super. I, is, is there business. any DC? Does, is there ever any DC stuff in there? Or is well, it always Marvel? You just said, is there any DC stuff? Well, we got Sandman. And this is Sandman um, number 57. And it must be something or other because look at the price. Ah, oh, one sec here. Look at the price right here. You see what that says? $18. $18. So this is uh, something or other. Uh, so Sandman 57. Not sure. I'm not sure what the key is. You Sandman collect Sandman? I used to have the complete run of Sandman, but I sold it when I met my wife. She was like, get rid of those comics. And you got, but you never rebuilt it? No, never. So this is one I actually needed. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of semi-rebuilding it, but I never rebuilt it. Somewhat sad about the whole giving up that collection, actually. Um, so then we got this one. Uh, what if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? He'd be like, he'd be chilling. Why would he be Punisher-like? You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> He wouldn't be be the Punisher. The whole reason he's the Punisher is he's like you know. Okay, well that's those are the ones that I got from Comic Tom. Well, thank you for showing us something. I'll yeah, be it's at, something. I'll be it, you know. But does this now count as a cameo? It's not even a cameo appearance anymore. You've ruined the cameo first appearance. No, anymore. no, no. It is still a cameo because you haven't shown <laughs> anything. The only thing you I, showed was the gift that I gave to you. Uh, and uh, gave us a chance to uh, acquaint the chat if they haven't with our mania for Lady Luck, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I I really do enjoy it. Uh, it's it's a fun read, uh, mm -hmm. and I love uh, Nordling's good. Nordling's art is very good. I to me I and I do like I do like uh, uh, I have a certain uh, level of exposure to good girl art and good girl artists in my collection. Mm -hmm. if, if you know anything about me. And yeah. I really do like Klaus Nordling's work. And I also yeah, like, fun. I, I like the fact that he really took his job seriously and he dressed up to go to work. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I really like the whole thing. And here is this sort of semi straight laced looking guy. And he always has this rather ribald in, uh, mm. in the, in the way in the deportment of his characters and how they, the body positions and stuff. He's very, very good. I like his art a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's so. fun. Really fun. I, I like the fact that every every book seemed to have some lingerie panels, <laughs> just some random. It's, it was it was expected that you know this is mm -hmm. when it's time for her to turn into Lady Luck. I said, oh boy, here comes the good part, and exactly. then here she's she's shucking her duds, and you know she's in her lingerie in a teddy or whatever it is, and she's thinking, gosh, I wonder what I will do, and then she mm -hmm. puts on her cape and her hat, her bolero hat, and then the veil, and then she goes out and then she kicks butt. She doesn't mess around. Uh, she so, really, and she's pretty. I mean, she's pretty in face and in, in the limb. I'm actually going to show something. Okay. But I'm going to show it very quickly and not, you're not going to get to see it. But, I see. Thank you um, so much. But it, but written on the package, and if you can see this, you can stop frame. You can see one of the grails that is in this unboxing. Oh, it's a murky 2000. It's a murky 2000. You can't so, see anything. You can't see anything through the bubble wrap. I can. Your I can camera see it, has you know, no. Your camera has no resolution whatsoever. So you see? could be actually showing the cover, and I still wouldn't know what it is. Oh, actually, that one you can't really see there. No, you maybe. can't see nothing. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for the uh, for the uh, for the. This buggy is definitely ride. a good teaser. Then this is a thanks, good teaser. Thanks, I thanks can see it clearly. Ride. Okay, I'll I'll remove. I'll sort of, you know the you know the dance of the veils. Yes. Where they, you know, they, they throw off seven veils. veils right? Yeah. I just removed one veil. So make it a little easier. Can I see, see 140. Good. Oh, okay. That's a big hint. Detective 140. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, it's, it's the book that comes right after Detective 139. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the big, one of the big rails. Detective 140. I thought that. I thought that your 122, the yellow cover, mm -hmm. um, that that book is so ungodly expensive to try. Oh and yeah, get. even in a point five. I I uh, I was working on one, trying to buy one. There was uh, some guy oh, actually. Was a... Cosmic figured out what it is. 
the Riddler. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cosmic. Yep. Uh, uh, I um, uh, but uh, you know, it's I I have I have the Batgirl. I don't really have the Riddler. That's the pink cover with him spinning, yes, isn't it? Matt, it's the first first Riddler. Yeah the the bat the the one where he's spinning the top thing. Yeah, um, that is the Silver Age. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the Golden Age one. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. There is a certain, there is a, a very slight piece that's sort of semi missing on the top right, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's a lower grade, but yeah, it's. Still... Mr. Beckerman. Hi, I'm Beckerman. Um. Yep. So uh, a couple people guessed right. So yeah, so yeah. So that's my big one of the. That's going to be in the finale. So you gotta wait. For well, that I know one, that but... that was that was a very very hotly contested book for you. And mm -hmm. I know that it, it weren't cheap to go get it either. I know that. I was a little bit nervous about this book. I wasn't sure. Is it is the guy really? Because <laughs> he didn't really have many listings that were big books. So I was a little bit nervous and I was negotiating with him and I wasn't sure. <laughs> this was the, he's the, he was a Nigerian prince. So I guess I should trust him. But, um, you know, my but, Batman 62, that the red mm -hmm. cover that has the cats being thrown at Batman and Robin, it's the when she, or we find out she's Selena Kyle and all that. Mm -hmm. um, the people that had that, when I showed it on our last Monday uh, show, um, or Friday, was it the Friday show? I think it was our Friday show. Friday no, it show, wasn't. No. It was, no, it was, it was, no, Tuesday. it was, the, it was the Monday show. It was, the it was the, show. okay, mo last Monday. You guys can look it up. But um, the guy that, the, the people that had it, Mm -hmm. uh, was a, a husband and wife situation. And in their store, they had really nothing but I think some Copper Age and modern books. And then they had one Golden Age book, one. And it mm -hmm. was the only Golden Age book they had. And there were, and it's a 6 0, and they, uh, it cost me 2300 And there was wow. another 6 0, uh, same grade, same page quality, everything. Four thousand dollars just up, you know, because I scroll down yeah, by yeah. price, and then there was a five five that was like thirty two hundred. I'm actually bidding on that book, by the way. Which There's one? Cop uh, the that book, the the Batman one. Oh, which is, which what what grade? The, are you what the, uh, it's a low grade restored book, um, but uh, it presents nice. Um, I hope I can win it. Um, well, it is the origin of Catwoman, by the way. Yes. The, the thing about the thing about this I uh, will just get back to this the, this couple again sure sure the the nice thing about them was they sent a very nice note we very much appreciate and they signed it they both signed this nice handwritten oh, that's note very nice we appreciate you doing Nobody business does that with anymore them. that's really nice we appreciate you doing business with us thank you very much etc you're sincerely etc and uh I I uh, when I did the <clears throat> feedback I put a very nice comment in then I said they were very very nice they packed it perfectly mm -hmm. And I was a little bit concerned because it was the only Golden Age book they yeah. had, and it was completely off the off the rails as far as anything that they actually were usually selling. I mean, as far mm -hmm. as their product mix, and yet they priced it, you know, so good. It so, was yeah. shows it, you know, and it it wasn't just it like shows a, the extra level. Of, uh, it it shows care. that they actually give a damn. They appreciated that, you know, the fact that I paid twenty three hundred dollars. I shouldn't, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be gauche. I'm just saying that, but it's like half the value. I mean, half the price of the book almost. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, even for a five, it's more expensive than the six I got from them. And yeah. it's a beautiful, the colors, the, the color strike on this thing. It must have been early in the print run because the color strike is absolutely spectacular. Oh, it looked really nice. It was a very nice looking copy. Um, so, well, Alan, yeah. I think you have one heck, heck of a lot of nice looking stuff. Uh, to taunt us and tease us with, uh, yep. and we have how many more? Uh, when when is the last one from the last batch? Do you have how many more uh, openings? Do you have? I think uh, three more. Uh, three more. And three then more we videos? start this. Then this one will start. Then we start up this one. Yeah. So next week, no, next next week, if that makes sense. Fair Not enough. Not this week. The week after. L uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chat. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that this coming Monday is going to be one hell of oh, yeah. a Monday is going to be one hell of a Monday chat here on Alan's channel because I have just me I have probably <laughs> 
three I weeks, know. three worth weeks of boxes, worth of yeah. boxes of stuff that I and I have been going after books. Uh, I have I've really taken the gloves off, and if I see a target uh, that is something that I've wanted or or mm -hmm. lit me up, uh, I have gone for it. Um, I'm not, not to the point where, you know, any price you want or whatever, I'm, I yeah, still yeah, yeah. Haggle, and, haggle and do everything I do, but at the same time, cause if it's too much, you can't, you can't like the book you look at, it, you just make, you feel sick every time you look at it. Mm -hmm. Um, like my fan, anyway, I won't say that anyway, but the, but the <laughs> upshot of it is be sure to tune in because on account it, it is going to be. It's time you do your own channel. No, no, but... I, 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 I am on team Allen, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, I'm on team <laughs> Allen. Because uh, he is a kindred spirit, and he and I mm -hmm. both, we have so much fun going back and forth on things that we like. And then if he finds something that I'll, uh, I may like, and I find something I, he might like, and it I'm goes. I'm trying back to create forth. a jar of Stephen tears, but it just doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> it just doesn't. Seem well, to I'm happen. stealing all this out. You know, uh, it's interesting, Chad. Uh, Alan mm -hmm. will put a book into his cart, and mm -hmm. magically the book becomes his. There's no money has changed hands, but just by the click of the, uh, the mouse, it suddenly becomes his. I have yeah. absolutely no idea because he must have 9,000 things in his cart on my comic <laughs> shop. And so I'll go in, I say, hey, that's a cool book. I'll pay the price. Boom, mm -hmm. it's mine. And then he says, yeah, you took that out of my cart. And I said, I yeah. took, what out of, what, took what out of your cart? And Joe, uh, who is black box, silver, and bronze, was on. I, mm -hmm. I looked to seeing him again having his voice yeah me too voice. actually but he goes uh he's he's going he goes alan he says just because you put it in your car <laughs> doesn't mean you bought it and alan says yes yes it is it is it's when it's in that's, my car that's, 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 it it. it's, that's the end of it it's mine and he starts laughing and he says he says well you snooze you lose alan if you're gonna <laughs> buy it you gotta buy it that's the way it goes them's is the rules of the game yeah but uh but alan and i go back and forth and we uh, we, if you look at the last couple ones, we have this Kellogg's uh, elephant in a vest uh, a novelty from 1909, and mm -hmm. I said, oh, "Look at this thing! This is cool." Then Alan has to get it. Then there's this, I, well, there's another one. Then I said, "Oh, I didn't even know that. I'm gonna get that." Wait, well, there's a third. Then there's essentially like four we're or five. We're all battling to get all guys. the different ones. So we're fighting back and forth, going, "Oh, I got this one. Where'd you get? No, said, that's different. Where'd you and get that?" And we kept on trying to find out. What's here's the another first one. Here's one. another. <laughs> what's the What's the first one? <laughs> it's yeah. just it's just fun stuff mm. but uh that's why i like to uh i like to be here i realized something stefo and then i don't have channels but we both co-host a channel owned by a guy named alan see that's how it works you have to find an alan to basically be a sidekick to that's the way that's the way YouTube works. It's one of the YouTube rules. I don't know how it works, but I'll tell you, it's one of the joys of YouTube, and it's one of the joys of the social interaction for, from kindred spirits. Here I am. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stephen gets around. He's a bit of a. I I I, I get around a little bit, but I can I can <laughs> say this though. Uh, this is my home port, uh, and uh, Alan talked me into coming on, and I really was too nervous to do it. And uh, I have since gotten over my nervousness. I, I, I don't uh, think you're very nervous nowadays. It's like, <laughs> shut up, but, Stephen, shut up. Just keep your bottle. Yeah, I can go. just get the mute from my channel. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a fun <laughs> thing. And so it's, it's a privilege to do this. And also the, the sharing, uh, the, it's the sharing of the stuff and the joy of the mm -hmm. stuff. It, it, it is money. I understand that it is money, mm -hmm. but it is still, I'm a little kid, uh, and I'll just say this, and then I'll I'll give the let Alan close this up. But mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that if if you are not a collector, if you try to describe to a collector, you, mm -hmm. uh, to a non-collector, let's say you find a book, and it's Lady Luck number eighty-six. Let's say it's the last book you need. You've been looking and looking and looking for it, mm -hmm. and it finally comes, and you hold it in your hands, and it's this thing. It just it goes. It just washes right over you. Mm -hmm. It just feels so good to finally, to finally have the, yeah, yeah. the thing that you've been looking for. Now, the defective DNA uh, uh, element in the gene pool, in the in the gene, the strand of DNA that is the faulty DNA that makes us collectors. Mm -hmm. It is a, it is pain and pleasure. The pain is not being able to find it, and you look and you look, and it's painful. You mm -hmm. finally find it, and it's the the pleasure is is indescribable. 
But then almost after a, a very Two short seconds. interval, short <laughs> interval, you're on to your next. Is no, I really wanted this one too. Oh, pain, pain. Yeah, so, yeah. so I uh, uh, not it's not so much because the things are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would like to show one book, if I may. Okay, that I yeah, was, I you can show as many books book. as you want. I was. I'm going to show. A, I'm going to show a big one. Okay. Uh, this, this is a this is a big one. Um, uh, I again, I do use my comic shop because their pricing policy, their their customer service, their packaging, uh, the 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 transparency, the ease of using their site, and all the other things that they have. And the and again, when I I bought my bat one from them. I could not have been treated uh, more uh, uh, as well as they possibly. Uh, they took really, really good care of me and gave a damn and went out of their way for me. And they didn't have to, but they did. And they 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 did everything over and above. And uh, so they've won my heart. They've won my business. And also, from a purely economic standpoint, they also thank you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. That that uh, that they that they basically price their books, uh, grade their books. They price their books fairly, but they also grade their books so that you they undergrade the books so that you always are happy with the purchase. They do this as a business model, and so mm -hmm. here is a book. Um, uh, it's True Life Secrets. Okay, so that arrived fairly quickly. Yes, it did. It came today. And how is the spine? Like it's it's all black, so I was curious how the spine is beautiful. So is it one of those things where they over undergraded it? <laughs> well, they, they, they 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 I think they called it a three five or a four, and it's a five or five and a half anyway. The edges yeah. are nice. Um, it's uh, uh, the art is by uh, uh, Gabriel, uh, and. Um, this, the True Life Secrets, I saw this book for quite a lot of money. There are very, very few of them on the census. I, I and then I all of a sudden, once on Heritage. it, it just, expensive. it popped up, it popped up once. There are other True Life Secrets that are very expensive. This one, uh, I'll, I'll tell, it was only like three, it was, I think I haggled it to $335. Well, for a oh, book expensive. like this, well, for a book like this, that is not. That is not an expensive outlay for a book like this. For as oh, yeah, as yeah, yeah. I agree. And also you have the effigy. I mean, you have the blue. You have floating eyes and all manner of stuff going on in the background here. But the the it's just a it's a very, very unusual. It's a Charlton book. But it's uh, but this is when they had were called uh, uh, capital books up here. Up here, it says capital. Capital Comics, but that is was one of the things that this was going to be one of the last ones, and I'll show it again on Monday because uh, it's going to mm -hmm. go back. It, it was the last one I was going to show, but I wanted to share because somebody should show something for your time <laughs> and, and from your time for your time and attentiveness and coming on here to the chat. We and I appreciate. It. I know that Alan does too. I do. So that's, I do. So that's what I wanted to show, and now I'll, I you will know, let Alan... You know, Stranger, you know that book, just quickly, show it again, just quickly, put it back sure. up. Sure. Um, do you know Greek mythology, where you got the, like, uh, Athena coming out of the girl's, uh, out of, out of, um, out of Zeus's head? Or yes. Out of, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. That's what that reminds me of. It. Like, it looks like they're coming out of her head, like out of her brain or something, the two people. Well, that's lyrical and lovely. I think that's very, <laughs> it's, it's a it's a nice spin on this. But I think on as a concept, no, it looks really it's, cool. It's I, I just think it looks wild. Cool. Her face and her eyes. Yeah, no, it's uh, great just, it's, And the, the 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 caption says here, "I deceived my love, branded by a tattoo." Uh, <laughs> he appreciates. Yeah, he's he's not quite. <laughs> Thank you, Biggie. He's not as lucky as I am to have Comic Tom mystery boxes to show. Thanks, um, Biggie. I appreciate that. It says, branded by a tattoo artist. I don't know what else a, a tattoo artist would do to you, but yeah. a tattooed X-ray of my X X-ray of my love. Wow. An X-ray of her love. That's awesome. Hmm. Okay. And then and then the last is I was alone. She was alone because they x-rayed her love. 
Well, I don't long. know. <laughs> Just... I don't get. I, it doesn't make much sense to me, but I'll go. Anyway, with it. but it's very good. Okay. So anyway, but that's that's what I have. Uh, I just wanted to show, and I like I said, absolutely. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, Whoa. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve killer slabs, and about twenty really really cool books. And some of it was because of Michael Knight Tiger did a, a thing on good girl cowboy westerns, good girl western comics. Okay. And I was blissfully unaware of how cool oh, yeah, some of those really good cool. girl, the golden age, the pre-code, good girl, uh, cowboy. Oh, my God. And so I went, there was my FOMO, and I went shopping, and I nailed down several. And it's just, a, un, a, you will come and see because you will be very satisfied. Oh, yeah. There were, it's going to be a good show. Um, I'm, I, I got to find something that I can show as well. So I'll, I'll bring some stuff, too. Um, yeah, on, I just found on one Monday, of the girls as well. On Monday, you said you were going to be, you were going to show a bunch of stuff. Mm. Are you changing your mind on me now? Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a problem with the broadcast. Okay, okay. So, okay, I counted the number of videos that I can make out of all these things because it's a lot of stuff. And if you, okay, so I have this stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. St others. Wait, one. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Should I make it ten videos and then show something? I think that would be appropriate. <laughs> I do. I'm. I'm. I'm telling you. I'm. I'm pulling out oh, okay. all the stops. I'm oh, okay. not holding anything back. On Monday, I'm, I'm, like I'm going for back. I'm going for I'm going for your throat on this this Monday. I know I've you have got, some pretty amazing stuff. I've actually. got some really damn nice stuff coming. So okay. I showed one of the really nice ones, uh, but I have stuff that's even even, even nicer. Better, in this. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I you 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 always tell me some of the, you know the stuff that you're getting. So well, I have uh, to crow. I, I have to crow a little. I know. Somebody. It's like. Because look Alan what says, I, got I want Alan Alan because I have never seen look that. What Alan, you know, look what and I then, got. and then the next thing I know is, I says, "Well, I got that book." I said, "Which I one? Which I one of them?" Says, no, oh, you know the one. Okay, one I, of those. One of those. One of those. You know. <laughs> you know, was, All right, brother. Okay, so it's good. So um, I'll I'll bring something. I'll bring something. I'm not sure what I'll bring, but I'll bring something. Well. You better some modern, don't, some modern don't, bring a, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Okay, bring a gun to a gunfight because you're okay. going to need it. Okay. Well, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll bring something. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for being here. And um, check out the video, uh, the uh, the interview video that I I did with Jerry today. That was, it's long, but it's a good interview. I look forward okay. to it. Okay. Bye, guys. See you later.